Thank you for staying with my Prab News. Welcome back. My name is Rida Kering Chebet. Now let me usher in our education segment. In Vihiga County, Sabatia Sub County stands an academic and sports giant Bugina Mixed Secondary School. The school is annually ranked among the top schools in the region and has many notable alumni across business, creative arts, sports, engineering and politics. My name is uh, Nick Professor Kambara. I'm the principal of uh, Bugina Friends Secondary School. Uh, Bugina Secondary School is found in Vega uh, County, uh, Sabatia Sub County, Busali West Zone. Uh, it is a, a mixed school with a total population of about a thousand students. Bugina um, is found in a very good place. It is a good environment and uh, most parents and many people really like this school. The school is regarded as an academic and extracurricular giant for its superior performance in national examinations of KCSC over the years. Bugina is doing well academically. We take very many students to university. In fact, uh, we, are, we are one of the few schools who have filled this region, this area, with graduates because uh, we take to the tune of 20 and more uh, students to the university every year. And so, meaning that our, our students come from the local place, they go to the university, they come back to influence uh, their uh, area. I just want to take this opportunity to thank the Board of Management. This school has a very good, very exposed and very understanding Board of Management that really assisted us to bring the school to the level where it is. I also want to appreciate our teachers. We have very committed and very good teachers. We have steered this school to the level where we want it to go. I also want to appreciate the parents. Uh, this is a school where parents would rather bring their children to this day school than even take them to the, um, uh, to the um, big schools. Uh, this year, when we were admitting for months, many, many students who qualified to go to regional schools uh, came here uh, and because they have a lot of faith in this school. For Majina, I am Lillian Kadenge, I am from West. I am a member of the school of secondary Bukina. The school is Missouri. The school is here, every time we are here, we are here to be here to be here to be here. Is the high competition in academics. Boys strive, work very hard in order to beat girls. And also girls don't sleep. They work more hard to ensure that boys do not leave them. Don't leave them. Our school has a school bus. The principal has worked so hard to ensure that our school has a bus. The bus is able to carry 51 students. The school also has a modern library. These are one of the efforts made by our school principal. It's a more hardworking principal. And also the teachers. The teachers attend the lessons very well. Most of them sacrifice their time. On weekends, they leave going to church and, also, and they come to teach us. I would like, I would like to say that our teachers are very hardworking. Apart from academics, Bugina Mixed is a powerhouse in several sporting activities such as football, leg ball, athletics, music, among others, outshining other secondary schools in the region. In this school, we have uh, made many achievements um, in terms of uh, co curricular activities, for example. In 2019, we were the uh, county champs in soccer and we've also done very well in the choir, netball, uh, we, uh, we always represent the county uh, in those uh, co curricular activities. I also want to say that this year 
We want to thank the Ministry of Education and the Government of Kenya because we have studied uh, our, our curricular activities at uh, the zonal level. So far, we are the best in the zone in all the activities. We are proceeding to the sub-county competitions. We are looking forward to winning all the, in all the activities. Uh, we, this year, we want to go up to the nationals. Uh, we, we, we hope that God is going to help us uh, to, to reach there. That's our dream. Uh, this year. In terms of infrastructure, Bugina makes the boast of modern facilities that offer students with a conducive learning environment. One of the things we have achieved as a school, apart from operating activities, is infrastructure. We have uh, done modern classrooms. Uh, thanks uh, to the, um, the M and I uh, funds from the government of Kenya. We have also done modern toilets. Uh, we have drilled a borehole uh, for 180 meters. Uh, well done with the this it is very well done uh, with a submersible pump, with a tank, so we, we no longer have any problem with water in this school because uh, we using the funds from the government and been able to drill the bar. Uh, as we're speaking now, uh, we're just waiting for approval. We want to start a, a, a three-story building, a uh, tuition block which will uh, house uh, nine classrooms and the three um, abortion blocks. And that one we are starting very soon. We are just waiting for the government, to, for the Minister of Education to approve the project, and then we shall start it. Um, in addition, tomorrow we are beginning the CBC classrooms. The government has given us through the Minister of Education, we have been allocated two classrooms. As I'm speaking now, the regional director will be here tomorrow morning, regional director of Western Region, regional director of Education, will be here tomorrow at 9 in the morning to do the groundbreaking for the construction of uh, uh, two CBC classrooms. Um, so, our classes are well, well built and some of them have tiles, but others we have, have no tiles. This is due to inadequate funds in the school. But I would like to urge the government or other sectors to come in in order to support our school. There is high level of discipline among students, courtesy of the disciplinary department. I'm Judith Agessa Ogwini. I'm the deputy of this school, Bugina Secondary School. I'm the one in charge of discipline. Uh, discipline uh, in this school has not been so bad. Uh, we have a disciplinary committee. At the same time, we have uh, an assisting deputy who is called Mr. Masengele, whom we work with. Uh, he's a deputy academics and I work as deputy administration mainly in charge of discipline. Through working together even also with the principal, we have managed to cut down issues to do with discipline. So I want also to thank the guiding and counseling teacher, Mr. Paul, who is also very active. Uh, through guiding and counseling, we've had a lot of uh, help in the school. He is able to even get a lot of support from as the principal has already mentioned, from some of the sponsors. And uh, through that we are able to help the needy students. And instead of them now being in discipline, they are able to work hard because they are being sponsored. Lingala na the wanafuzi, wako, ni wanafuzi wa inidami mzuri, tuna wanafuzi wa zuri kwa Maisha Prime, 
education segment, Masha Television. I'm Rida Kering Chebet.